Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to communicate between the components. An Angular application usually consists of many separated components, and in order to make them work together, we need communication between them. You can think of components as family members, and if communication between the parents and kids is fluent and efficient, your home will be a happy place. There are four ways to communicate between the Angular components. Binding using input and output, reference by using view child and content child, provider using services, and template outlet. In this tutorial, I'm gonna cover the first two ways as we haven't covered services yet and the template outlet is a little bit advanced. First use case is when we want to send data from parent to child using input decorator. Input decorator takes the value passed from parent and stores that value in the child property. Let me create two components using Angular CLI. I will run the following commands. ng generate component parent and ng generate component child. In our child component, I will import input decorator and name our input as child message of type string. In the template of the same component, I will display this property, which is going to be passed from a parent. Now, inside of our parent component in the template, we want to place our child component and to pass the value to the input property we just created. The name of the property is the one we defined in the child component and the value is going to be a hello message. Next, we want to place our parent component inside of our root component. And if we preview it, we can see their message from parent has been displayed in our child component. Second use case is when we want to send data from child to parent using Output Decorator. Output Decorator marks a property in a child component as a doorway through which data can travel from the child to the parent. This approach is ideal when you want to share data that occurs on things like button click, form entries, and other user events. To raise an event, an output must have the type of Event Emitter, which is a class in the Angular core that used to emit custom events. In the child component, Import Output Decorator and Event Emitter. We declare a message event variable with the Output Decorator and set it to equal to a new Event Emitter. Then we create a function named SendMessage that calls emit on this event with the message we want to send. Lastly, we create a button to trigger this function. In the parent, I will create a function to receive the message and I will just simply alert this message for demonstration purposes. Now, in the parent template, call our function once the event from the child component occurs. And the name of that event is the one that we defined with output decorator. Very simple and effective. Compared with all other approaches for communication, binding is the cleanest and the simplest one. It is the most maintainable way for passing data. Hence, binding is always the most preferable way that Angular developers should consider first. Third use case is when we want to send data from child to parent using view child. View child allows the child component to be injected into a parent component. It will give the parent access to its properties and functions. A child won't be available to give access until the view has been initialized. This means we need to implement the after view init lifecycle hook to receive the data from the child. First, create a message property in our child component. Import view child and after view init from Angular core and our child component. For our view child decorator, pass our child component as an argument 
and name it as child. Next, implement OptiView init lifecycle hook. By the way, to learn more about Angular hooks, check the part 2 of this video series. Inside the ng OptiView init method, just alert the message property of our child so that you can see that we have access to it. And if we start our application, you can see that we are displaying a message from the child component. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you and if you want to see more videos like this. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a new upload.